Selena's Venus and Mercury are conjunct to her Chiron and her Mercury, Venus, and Chiron are forming an opposition to her 7th house, Aquarius Saturn. Venus is the planet of self-esteem and self-worth and Mercury deals with your mental health. So when Chiron and Saturn get in the mix, this can lead to serious self-esteem and mental issues. Selena's fun and prideful Leo energy is constantly being challenged, restricted, and blocked and this can be due to to bad relationships since her Saturn is in the seventh house and her Chiron is in the sign of Leo or this could be related to bad interactions with fans and haters since her Chiron is at the 11th degree and Aquarius degree and her Saturn is in Aquarius and Selena has been very vocal in the past about how toxic she thinks social media is and Aquarius Saturn individuals can feel misunderstood, alienated, they can have this outcast mentality and they can feel like they don't belong, like they're not worthy and they can also succumb to peer pressure and groupthink and this can be supported by Selena's 11th house cancer south node which can make her codependent to social media and friends and she might be afraid of judgment and she might have a tendency to prioritize other people's well-being over her own well-being. This can also manifest as someone who constantly lives in the past and can get over past emotional trauma. Selena cares a lot about what other people think of her and her Leo Mercury rules her second, third, and eleventh houses. So these three houses are connected. So her self-esteem and self-worth, aka the second house, are connected to the press and the media, aka the third house, and the internet, aka the 11th house. Her Mercury is squaring her fourth house Pluto, and this can make her paranoid, obsessive. She might have a tendency to over exaggerate situations. And keep in mind that Selena is a Leo ascendant, Mercury, and Venus, so she can be very over dramatic both on stage and off stage. With that Mercury Pluto square, she might also feel powerless at times, and she can go into those very dark and depressive moods since Pluto likes to dig deep and when it's interacting with Mercury, it can make someone able to explore the depths of their mind and sometimes it's not always pretty. Also, since Selena's Venus is ruling her midheaven, her first house of the self is connected to her 10th house of career, success, and achievement. So this can create someone who needs to achieve in their career in order to feel good about themselves and these people are very consumed with praise and accolades and don't forget that Selena has a lot of personal Leo placements and Leo is one of the signs who seek validation the most and they want to feel appreciated by fans and significant others. They lead with their heart and they often operate from a place of insecurity. So Selena really needs to learn how to love herself and prioritize her relationship with herself before any other relationship. She needs to realize that she is enough as an individual and the only opinion that matters is hers. Especially with her Capricorn North Node located in her fifth house, Selena's life lesson is learning how to detach from toxic people, keep her social circle small, embrace her independence, her ambition, her ego, and her individuality. Selena's Aries moon being in the ninth house can make her a frequent traveler, someone who's involved in multiple projects and who lives a very fast-paced life, sometimes too fast-paced. And her moon is conjunct to her midheaven, so this can definitely make her overly attached to her career. And moon in Aries can be very impulsive, childish, it lacks practicality, and this moon placement can make Selena prone to very violent mood swings, especially since her Aries moon is squaring her Neptune. So she could be living in a constant state of fear, inferiority, paranoia, and powerlessness and usually most of these fears are irrational. Her Aries moon rules her 12th house of illnesses, so her fast-paced life and her mood swings as well as her irrational fears can have long-lasting impacts on her mental health. And Selena is a 12th house Cancer Sun, so she needs to learn how to set boundaries and take breaks. She needs to rest often and spend a lot of time alone in order to recharge and stay in shape.
type. But Selena is a fire and earth dominant individual, so she's used to always being in the spotlight, performing, going on tours, starting new projects. She's naturally a hard worker and overachiever, and she's very financially driven. And resting doesn't come naturally to her, especially with her 10th house Taurus Mars opposing her 4th house Scorpio Pluto. She's definitely a competitive, perseverant, relentless workaholic. And with her Aries moon squaring her Cancer sun, she was forced to constantly work and it eventually caught up to her and she had to check herself into mental rehab and learn how to take care of herself. And since she has so much Leo energy, Selena is used to putting on an act in front of people and avoiding her problems and pretending that everything is okay even though it's not okay. And this can also be a manifestation of sun in the 12th house since displacement can make someone unwilling to face their problems until they absolutely have to. Selena has her Uranus and her Neptune in her 6th house of health which can point to sudden, abnormal, unforeseen health problems that force her to take breaks from her daily work and her sixth house ruler Saturn is located in her seventh house and the seventh house rules kidneys so this can point to Selena being diagnosed with lupus and needing a kidney transplant in order to survive and Neptune is the planet of confusion things that are unclear and lupus is considered an invisible illness and it's very hard to diagnose Selena's first house Leo Chiron can also point to physical wounds since the first house rules the physical body and Leo rules the heart and apparently during her kidney transplant one of Selena's arteries broke so the surgeons had to build a new artery using a vein from Selena's leg. I hope you enjoyed this quick reading. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.